What does it's that mean? It's still tender. Okay. Like when I do, yeah, more like here. This is more tender. Um, parts of it, not so bad. I still have, still have like periods at night uh -huh. when I'm laying in bed that I still don't like. Can't stand for the the sheet. Cover. Uh huh. Yeah, like that's really tender. Where right you're, there. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not like earth shattering, sure, but it sure. hurts. <laughs> the mobility is great. Uh huh. Yeah, that just is like like a little kind of almost like a burn tender. Okay, so I'm gonna spend a minute or two just kind of working through some of those tender areas. Okay. I do use like lotion, and I have a scar gel too that I rub on it and try to massage it. So, do you ever do it just dry? Um. Like what I'm doing right now? Not really. So um, the goal is when you when you put lotion on, which is oh. fine, vitamin E oil or anything yeah. that you want to do, um, that allows you to kind of slide over the skin. Uh -huh. But what we want is we want the skin to actually stick to the finger mm -hmm. so that we can move the skin relative to the tissue below it. Mm -hmm. Because some of that sensitivity is going to be coming from the deeper layers. Uh -huh. Now, it's moving really well. Uh -huh. There's certainly some areas that I can feel a little more of that resistance in there and some of that scar tissue. Uh -huh. A minute to two minutes, just dry back and forth. So we call this cross fiber uh -huh. is going to be beneficial, especially a couple times a day and especially on some of those sensitive areas. Um, you can do it with the net leg relaxed and the knee bent just like that. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes what you can do is you can take both fingers. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of doing this zigzag. Mm -hmm. So like here, I can feel a little bit of that swelling under there. A little bit of that resistance. When I go this way, no resistance at all. So I would spend a little more time working some of those resisted areas. Okay. Cause that's the only part that still bugs me like at night. I mean, it's, I'm sleeping pretty well, Uh huh. but, um, but like when, when it bugs me most of the time, it's, it's the scar area. Uh huh. And then you just relax. I'm going to rest okay. your heel up there. Yeah, see, that's moving really great. Mm -hmm. And I mean, a couple of those spots, I wouldn't even know you had surgery. It's just so smooth. There are some suction cups, these little silicone suction cups that you can use also that kind of create a little bit of lift in there. They're really inexpensive, five bucks or something on Amazon. Where do you get them at? Amazon. Amazon. Um, usually I have them, I just ran out of them. Mm -hmm right now but do you have like a picture could you show me what it I'll, looks I'll like? get you a link okay. yeah any sensitivity around the sides here Not really. okay how many weeks in surgery right now um i'm all i'm eight weeks today yeah I think about that for a minute. I had surgery on Friday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight weeks today. Okay, let that relax. Anything around the house that you've wanted to do that you really can't do? Not really. How about stairs, going downstairs? I can go up and down. Um, I mean, I'm still cautious. But they're going down. I do it slower. Yeah. <laughs> but but I can go. I mean, I've been down up my stairs going to the second floor, and I've been down by basement stairs, both up and down. Okay. I can get down and up them okay. It's probably not the most graceful thing in the world, but sure. I mean, I can do it. Yeah, that's my biggest thing is, the, you know, like what you're right doing there. That, that is really tender. So if you spend one or two minutes kind of sideways mm -hmm. and then one of one or two minutes up and down, and it doesn't have to be so much that it's miserable, a little mm -hmm. bit of discomfort is okay, but not, not pain. Um, you'll be surprised at how well this will desensitize. Is and that just the scar tissue that's 
I mean, yeah, not to be that tender. I, I would say it's a combination of, um, you know, there's probably still some inflammation. I mean, eight weeks is still super early. So it's the, the scar tissue that's growing, not the kind that restricts motion, just the normal scar tissue for healing. Mm-hmm. Um, there's probably some, you know, areas in there that just aren't fully healed yet. And maybe they're not healed deep into the, mm-hmm. the tissue. So superficially it is, but it's still healing deep down in there. I swear sometimes I can feel, um, like, it's like I can feel, uh, I guess I would call it an anastomosis line, like here, uh-huh. and then like here. Right. I, that I feel like I can actually feel the band of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so patients will tell me all the time, I feel like there's a band around the knee, yeah, and yeah. it's kind of right in that area. Yeah. Um, I do always have to wonder, so when they go in and they do the superficial incision, Mm -hmm. the deep incision, they pull everything open, when they sew everything back up, um, from the surgeries that I've seen, it's not an exact science. So sometimes I wonder if if it's a little bit tighter in when they sew it down in a certain area. Mm -hmm. So that joint capsule, that connective tissue is just tighter in there than it would be in other areas. I just think that there are so many things that we don't necessarily know. Yeah, because it feels like, I mean, this part, like at night, when I'm not doing anything, this yeah. is the most sensitive, right down the middle. But like at night, when it, that's not bothering me and everything's okay, and I'm just laying there, I can feel, it literally feels like I can feel the, it's deeper down, but I yeah. can feel like, like I got a suture line here, and uh-huh. like I got one here. Uh-huh. When I lose, you know, the, the band right. kind of feeling around my knee, and it's just right here. I swear, it feels like like a stitch line. Yeah. And it seems it seems um, real tight. Okay. You know, like, yeah. like like man, they stitch that tight, and I just need a, a little more room to expand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know, yeah, I, uh, I just I hear it every day. Yeah. Um, it always gets better. I've never heard it not go away, yeah. not get better. Go ahead and pull that pant leg down. Let's go over to the balance beam. Okay.